Welcome back. This is going to be a fairly simple exercise that we do here. We're going to be practicing our control today, controlling making lines. So this is a simple exercise, but it's a very important one and one that we should practice often. What we're going to be doing is um, making some points on the paper and then drawing lines between them. And then we're also going to be measuring the midpoint of the line. It's important to start to think about measurement because when we draw on a large piece of paper like this, we're sort of mapping out where we're going to be placing things. So this is a very rudimentary form of measuring. We're also going to be practicing some shapes as well as lines. So to start with, I'm going to make a point on the left side of the paper and another point on the right side of the paper. Now notice I'm really spreading these out. I'm putting them very far apart and that's important because we want to learn how to make lines that are long but still connect. So now between these two lines I'm going to draw, or two, two points, I'm going to draw a line. Don't worry if it's not perfect. I'm just wanting to get that right across the page feel. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint. Now I'm going to guesstimate the midpoint. I'm not going to measure it. I want you to develop the ability to, to see the differences between the sides if you don't get it exactly right. So I'm going to put it right about there. And then I'm going to sit back from it a little bit. I'm going to lean back and really look at it, look at it and see if I think that that's correct. It looks pretty good to me. So two points a line and then a midpoint. I'm going to add midpoints between the left and midpoint and right and midpoint. So I'm dividing this into four sections. So I'll put a point there. Oh, that's not quite right. Move that over a little bit. See how I corrected that? I'm just leaving the first one. It's okay if I really want to emphasize that. I can put like an X over it. Same thing on this side. I'm going to find that midpoint. Sometimes what helps me find the midpoint is to sort of scan back and forth and sort of zero in on that area. I'll make a point there. So you can see this line here. Very simple, but very effective at helping you get control. Now I'm going to make a diagonal line. I'm going to put a point close to my first point and then I'm going to put another point down here. And again, drawing a line, I'm aiming that line towards that point. Don't worry if you don't hit the point exactly. This is practice for developing that ability to draw a nice long line. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to kind of find that midpoint. It's a little harder on a diagonal. And again, sit back, kind of look and see if you think that's correct, you can even measure it, but I don't want you to measure to start with. If you want to measure, you can measure after you make the mark. And then again, halfway between the end and the midpoint and the other end and the midpoint. So pretty simple exercise, right? Now I'm going to make a point down here, and I'll just use this same point up here at the top. Notice how I want to hold my pencil back a little bit. I was choking it up a little bit too much there. I'm going to hold it back because that gives me a little more flexibility and I'm going to draw from my shoulder, not from my wrist or my elbow. When you draw from your wrist especially, it really shortens the, the length of the line you can make. So I'm going to pull that line up towards that point. You can go over the line again if you like. Again, I'm going to find the midpoint. It really helps to sort of zero in on the area you think the midpoint is in and then just kind of sit back and look at it. A lot of times we're sitting too close to our drawings. Another reason why I like to draw big is we don't get it right up in our face like this. We want to be able to sit back from it and see it. Another midpoint there. Sometimes it gets confusing when they cross over each other. You have to sort of separate that out a little bit. I'll put the midpoint right about there. 
So we're gonna make a bunch of these. Just keep going, make a point, make another point. Maybe I'll make another horizontal here. And then with your elbow, I'm sorry, with your shoulder, you wanna pull the line and hold the pencil further back. Don't choke it up like this. This tends to make you push down. We wanna pull the line from the back. So we're pulling that line. Again, don't worry about making it perfect. This is practice. Make that midpoint. That's gonna be about the same as this first midpoint. And I can line them up. All right, now we're also gonna make some shapes. We'll start with some rectangles. So down here below this area, I'm gonna make some points. Make a point here, make a point here. These won't be perfect rectangles. They're gonna be kind of more like um, parallelograms or whatever. And then notice when you have them closer together, it's a lot easier to connect them. Pretty easy, right? Maybe make some midpoints in your lines here. Divide that. Aimed a little too high there. Find that midpoint. Connect. Maybe connect the diagonals too. It's all about learning how to work fairly quickly but still accurately. And it takes, again, it takes practice to get there. Let's make some circular shapes. Make four points. But this time we're gonna round those lines like this. And as it comes around, we're gonna round again, and round again. So that's creating what we call an ellipse. Just go over that a couple times. It really helps just to make the lines. It's fine to go over them like this because that kind of gives you a feeling for it. it. Gives you that muscle memory. Muscle memory is when you repeat something enough times that your body kind of remembers how to do it. Helpful because when you want to draw something, you're not hesitant you have that experience. So I'll make another circular shape or oval shape. Again, arch it up. Don't worry too much about getting it perfect, but try to aim for a really nice rounded shape. Go over it a few times. That's helpful. So that's really it. We're gonna do more of these. Um, I want you to actually fill up your paper with these. So um, I'm just gonna stop here because I don't think I need to show you any more of this. You kind of get the idea. This is practice and we're gonna do this every day for a, a while to really help you develop that muscle memory. So that's it. I'll see you online.